Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be covering The Utopian. He made his first appearance in Jupiter's Legacy, issue number one, that was released in April of 2013. His real name is Sheldon Sampson, and he's a proudly American male that has blue eyes and black hair, although he's more well known in his long gray-haired aged appearance. Now, similar to his partners in the Union of Justice, Sheldon was selected and mutated by unspecified aliens to be given amazing superhuman powers. When this occurred, he acquired vast superhuman strength, speed, agility, stamina, senses, and moderately enhanced durability and healing. Additionally, he has decelerated aging, can fly, and exhibits considerable telepathy and telekinesis, with all of this being rounded out by being able to blast a healthy dose of energy from his eyes. It's been shown that at his peak, he can read up to 60 books a minute, can survive indefinitely within the vacuum of space while flying 170 million miles in about three hours, and he can do this while creating a telekinetic bubble of atmosphere around him and others, making it possible for him to carry multiple normal human beings with him into space. Dude has even been shown to be able to hit a golf ball from Earth and land a hole in one on the moon, and also exhibit immunity to other people's psychic attacks. And although while in his prime, the Utopian was by far the strongest superhero on the planet, he can be injured by multiple other beings with similar power levels ganging up on him. And he would prove to be particularly weak to the abilities of his powerful son, Brandon. Now, years ago, Sheldon Sampson was a very patriotic American businessman who happened to lose everything in the stock market crash of 1929. But after this jarring event in his life, he began to have visions of an island, which were so powerful that they instilled a compulsion within him to find it. He'd eventually be able to locate the general region of this island, being way out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And after convincing his brother Walter, along with five old college friends, as well as a ship captain, they would make their adventurous way to land on the shores of this mysterious island. When they finally made their way to the peak of a treacherous mountain, they would enter a strange doorway, which led them to another dimension where these aliens bestowed superhuman powers upon them, with Sheldon becoming the most powerful of them, being a Superman analog taking the name of the Utopian. From there, they would all go back to New York City and become the founding members of the Union of Justice. Years later, one of these members named Grace, AKA Lady Liberty, would go on to be Sheldon's wife, and they would bear two superhuman children named Chloe and Brandon, who themselves would generally go on to just be shallow celebrities, feeling that they could never live up to the rigid moral code and standards that their father had put in place. Yet ironically, deep down, the Utopian also felt as if he had failed them as a parent, which highlights the strained family dynamics going on here. Over the years, the Utopian became such a perfectionist and idealist that he would start drawing the criticism of his brother Walter as well as the second generation of superheroes coming up in the Union. They resented the Utopian's criticisms and what they called old-fashioned tactics, which included his strong belief that superheroes should obey their government leaders. Eventually, the meddling of his brother Walter, along with the tensions within the Union and his own family, would lead to the Utopian being turned on and ultimately taken down by his own son, Brandon. Now, due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Image Comics, particularly Jupiter's Legacy universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I'll give Sheldon Sampson, aka the Utopian, a rating of 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join the new Sage.